Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's do an example where we have a time varying voltage source. It is equal to 10 volts times the cosine of 2000 times the time. Now remember this comes from the general equation where the voltage as a function of time is equal to some amplitude or some voltage, let's call it A, in terms of volts times the cosine of omega t, where omega is of course the angular frequency. What we're trying to find is we're trying to find an equation representing the current as a function of time and then we want to evaluate that equation when time is equal to two seconds. So we have to find the equation that relates the current to the voltage and the one that does is we can say that the current as a function of time is equal to the capacitance times the rate of change of the voltage with respect to time. Which means to find an equation representing the current to the circuit, we need to take the derivative of the equation that represents the voltage with respect to time. This is equal to the capacitance times dv dt, the rate of change of this equation with respect to time, so that would be equal to 10 volts, times the derivative of the cosine, which is the negative sine of 2000 times t, times the derivative of the angle, which would be times 2000. Now we need to plug in what c is equal to, in this case c was 5 microfarads, so this becomes 5 times 10 to the minus 6 farads, multiply that times 10 volts. Now this, the units of this, remember this was the angular frequency, the units for angular frequency is 1 over seconds, so we have to put 1 over seconds in here to have the proper units, so we multiply this times 2000 times 1 over seconds times the negative sine of 2000 t. Alright, next we want to combine these, so 2000 times 10 that's 20,000 times 5 that's 100,000 times 10 to the minus 6. 100,000 times 10 to the minus 6 that would be equal to 0 0.1 that would be farads volts per second, farads times volts per seconds, multiply the times a negative sine of 2000 t. And now I believe we're ready to, first of all, here's the equation that re represents the current as a function of time. And now to evaluate that function, all we have to do is plug in the time for t. And so now we can say that i, when t is equal to 2 seconds, is equal to 0 0.1. Of course, the units here are going to be in terms of hmm, units, so it would be in terms of amps. So 0 0.1 amp times the negative sine of 2000 multiplied times 2 seconds and of course that would be 2000 divided by seconds if we plug in the proper units times 2 seconds there we go and now we have to make sure we put our calculator in radian mode so I need mode 5 now that I'm in radians so we multiply 2000 times 2 which is 4000 take the sine of that and let me see what we get, so that would be equal to 0 0.1 amp multiplied times a minus sine of 4000, which is a minus 0 0.68, so it's a minus times a minus 0 0.68, like that, so when we multiply the minuses cancel out, which gives us a current of 0 0.068 amps at that moment in time. So again, if, we have, if we're given a voltage on a circuit that has a capacitor in it, and we're trying to find the current, we realize that the current is equal to the capacitance times the change in the voltage with respect to time. We take the derivative of that, then we evaluate that at the proper time. And that's how we do that.